Hello, welcome to an episode of Fly Mapping. Today we're going to look at these zebras here. It's a great photograph by J.P. Devine from Unsplash, and it's uh, just a great variety of, well, at least those three anyway. So these are the maps we're going to use our phi spiral type map and our Fibonacci line type map, linear type map. And right off the bat, let's just look for our basic phi rectangles that we might find in said creature. A little bit different than a horse, but not a lot. Okay, so These, of course, are four different scales of phi, of a phi rectangle, which is the sort of master shape that we use to build all the maps. And what is usually preferable is that there's some clear phi rectangle. So what I'm getting here is that approximately the height of the animal relative to its length, the height of the back haunch of the withers, which is usually, I guess, where horses are measured from, right? And that happens to line up right under the eye like that, so the head sticks out above. But in general, that's a basic, basic phi shape. So that horse is essentially contained within a perfect phi rectangle, that zebra, excuse me. And if that's the case, then we can use these ones to see what other phi dimensions exist in there. So there you can see that, yeah, let's ignore that one for a second. Now one of these should represent the head. Yeah, often. Often the head will be two of these different ways. That kind of the face proper. And then this one has more of the whole kind of head area. Also the length between the legs. Also, approximately the height of the legs. See how they rise if the belly goes down a little below. And not the belly. But yeah, really roughly this, this neck area. So oh yeah, you could go like that. Maybe that's it. Something like that anyway. You get the idea. This one, yeah, looks like it's kind of just trying to fit that general mass of the body. So that one big phi rectangle in many ways breaks down into those three. And indeed, if that's the case, conceivably these finish out the leg there pretty close. Pretty close. Okay, cool. Let's um, I suppose we should have done it to that guy too, but let's try a let's try the circles with that same exercise because the circles show sometimes things a little bit different because they fit together a little bit different. Well, that's convenient, there you go. So that's one type of circle, but let's uh, do the same thing to the whole body. Or 
or the height to the withers. I mean, it's essentially it's it's representing very similar things. So, um, hmm. That's interesting. The, the belly is really hitting this halfway point. Phi doesn't really work with halfway points. And that looks like it's hitting a halfway point relative to this scale. So none of these circles are really actually going to work satisfactorily, even though that's about that radius. But usually I don't like overlapping the circles like that. But in this case, we will just to show. pattern on the front. Good lord. Okay, we're not quite close enough. This is just massing form. We're not going to do face details in this one. We'll get to uh, we'll do that again with a different horse. Okay, let's try the far spiral map. So that one often works well. Sticking with red, hopefully nobody's too averse to red, it just shows up well. power from the look at that line right through there right to the back gets a bunch of power from there somehow uh, kind of doing these back stripes that's nice also the haunch there pretty well or the the, the back the rump try and get it right on the stripes it's a little cockeyed there but fitting into the nose very nicely or giving that sense of under the neck very nicely. Putting the center point just right here behind the leg. And again, leaving the head exposed. And if we do that same thing, but have it vertically mm -hmm. yeah no doesn't matter don't matter just for reference sake, let's take that exact same one, put it right on there. These animals are borderline identical. This one's a little bit bigger. Uh, 
So no real new information there, but it is describing that all very well. Look right in the back of the leg there. It's coming right, in fact, to this center point, which makes sense. This is a, um, sort of animal form is a lot about, well, it's all physics, really. So it's center points and mass, massing. So it's no surprise that those feet hit that point. And in this case, it's putting that sort of sh thigh muscle right in there. But that's all kind of arbitrary because of just how it's standing and everything. But if we do this, that same size without changing any size, getting a little bit of that mane, this, I mean, it's general sweeps of form, like you're getting a center point right there, that's right around the eye, that's right around the nose, that right in the mouth is right on that X, and you've got one right on the ear there too. So, I mean, a horse's face is for sure going to be phi. Look at that one there. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, okay, good, 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 yep. There are a bunch of harmonies with this map, and we'll actually do the side profile of the face just for a moment. Again, same size to the withers of this animal. To the withers of that. Right, sort of illustrating the nose there. This through line through the mouth, or through the head, which again will be a center of gravity type thing. That's not on the ear, but it's getting close to the ear. That's getting close to the eye. Yeah. And just how the, the sweeping general form, not that one, but this one is pretty good, even though, I mean, it's certainly not exact. All you critics out there. Mm-hmm. There's a good one, too. Right in the ears, eyes nose, mouth. Okay, uh, but we'll do a horse head in another video. So right now let's do some more body form and to that end let's do the Fibonacci line map. If we did it to the end of the face when it's turned,
either like that or like that. Depends how they m overlap in the middle here. That's a pretty good one though. Yep, yeah, sorry, should have left it. Okay, something like that though. of the phi spiral. It's a pretty wild map that's hard to make heads or tails of until it lines up and then sometimes it shows good things. Not always. Mm, look at that right in the eye there. Again, I'm gonna get distracted by the by the head, but that's a good one because look how this see this large almond seed vesca here coming down the shoulder. I feel like that wants to come down the shoulder. So what is this irrelevant to? Uh try and get some actual scale here. So if we go to the height, the height of the back, scale down once, so uh, multiplied by 61.8%. That's not going to do it. No, too. Well, or it's. It, I mean, it is doing something, but it's not doing. Well, it won't it too. Let's go back to the full height. But this one doesn't work either. It will be a little tricky if it's something in between. I don't like that it would be something in between. 
Yeah. Uh, see, it's missing the leg. Well, yeah, it's missing it in that almond. I want it to be right in that almond. If we too big though. But then the next scale down is too small. So what are we to do? Well, we'll have to go with the small one. Uh, sorry guys, see this is why the videos end up taking so long. Do your homework and then make the video. I know, but I kind of want you to explore this with me because I don't know that these are real and if you see how we get them then they become a little more impressive that's sort of the outline with that spiral what I'm trying to do is get that spiral right on its eye there and it happens to be mirroring the outside of the face there very well in which case the opposite one should kind of do the same thing getting a little bit of this effect. Now it doesn't line up with those stripes, so the, the radial pattern should come from those stripes, so that's not it, but it is doing a little bit around the head, which is kind of cool. Yep, okay. Well, actually, Let's take that over here and try this profile. So again, we'll find some actual measurement, some objective measurement, the back to the feet. wants to do that. And doing that right on the neck there. All from that same scale. But... And then that from the ear, this one, same scale, running right, it ends up going right in that thigh area. Which is kind of nice because that's a powerful leg muscle. But. The angle's just not right. To get that big oval in there like this. Okay, and then if we scale this one down.
I was almost doing that black area. Putting the eye right in there. Yup, okay. And let's try a something. Let's try this circle pattern. This is the Fibonacci circle pattern. Or it's a center spiral pattern, I mean. It ends up making circles. And it's unique in the circle maps because it creates a center circle, which I don't think is actually relevant to this particular case. Nonetheless, That's somewhat interesting, sort of illustrating different areas. I, I think it, don't know what happens there, chews a lot. Is that right where it chews? Not quite. Up there somewhere. I sort of chew in the back, but it does the eye great. Ears in there, throat, and this point right here. And what is that point? That's a massive center of gravity right there. Possibly not the best map, but certainly showing a bunch of interesting things. Okay. And let's try also try and get one of these ones that does stripes. Yeah, let's try this for a second. Nope, not that one. Although this is going to add like 200 minutes to the video, so I probably won't do a whole lot of this. No, it's, they're kind of there, but the stripes are doing something different. They're not zigzagging back and forth exactly like that. There's no way you're going to find that pattern, even though I'm sure it to some degree does exist. If we micro scale down, it might. Let's do an over, let's do this pattern to see some of our primary spots come right from the ear to the ground from the eye anyway That's another circle pattern, actually, is right under the neck there. The circle exercise was a little, wasn't fully gratifying. Is the same, is not the same, no.
So the whole animal. And then guess that part of the animal is, yeah, or no. But yeah, to do the whole animal, then that one will be roughly that area. These are going down into the ground. That's going up above the animal and down into the ground also. And then that one also into the ground. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Okay, that's pretty well good. I think that's good. We do the phi spiral. We didn't. We'll do the tri spiral. The phi tri spiral. So uh, yeah, certainly sometimes, sometimes it will work. Sometimes they all work, and often, and sometimes they don't. I'm not even going to say often, because pretty much everyone, there's something you could say, oh, well, that's kind of showing that. But that's doing a little bit of that back leg. It's also meeting that point under there and then suggesting the belly. getting at the belly there. If we use that same scale and then put Yeah, need a better picture of the of the face. Yeah, but I did that back haunch a little bit, yep. Cool. Very cool. Well, I think that that was about what that needed to be. These actually just let me do that one as a Fibonacci line map. Just to see these guys in this moment of time standing here, clearly a herd divided against the storm, I believe, is what is happening here. A herd divided a against the storm, on the long, lonely road. 
Maybe it's the spring rains. Yep. That type of stuff. So nothing crazy. Close to fire part. I stand where they're just sticking their necks out. Cool. Cool. And just because I'm insane and I don't mind wasting your time, let's try this other frame. All information is, all relevant information is good. No matter how successful it is. So we always learn from it. Thank you very much, guys. That was great. Cool show. Uh, thank you, JP. That was a wonderful photograph. Looks like it was a fun trip. Hope you get out of the rain. Hope you guys stay out of the rain also. Have a great day out there. See you on the next one.